I did get a chance to go there in 2014 to see Louisville play at Notre Dame, courtesy of my other nephew who played for Louisville, yeah. Zach Cannon. Shout yeah. out. The fanatic. But we keep it 100, keep it real. That's the only way we know how to be. Talking that sports talk. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of South Carolina. Upstate, yeah. it's 6 yeah. yeah. The F A N A T T I C. The fanatic where we keep it OG. We talking sports, so I call what I Welcome in to the fanatic sports channel for sports fans by sports fans. It's your boy, Coach I. And I'm the stat guy. What's going on, party people, man? We back up in the lab for another video, man. This time we starting a little three video series of bucket list college football things we want to do in our lifetime. So uh let's get it started, man. So today's video is gonna be college football stadiums that we want to visit. We're gonna do a second video on college football games we actually want to attend, and then we're gonna finish it off with college football's best tailgates at least in our mind so if you are in the um, college football fan don't get in the comments man and let us know uh some of the best stadiums you've been to or some that you want to go to and don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you like the content it helps us reach all the fans out there in college football world how you feeling today stat guy i'm excited you know we we chop it up all the time about places we want to go even the places we have been um, so I'm pretty excited about the, these are kind of my top five right now where I'm trying to head to. All right. All right. Stat guy coming in today with the fresh cut, you know what I'm saying? He went with the, uh, low even Steven. So, uh, girls settle down, settle down. Uh, he's just here to talk football, but he is single. If you want to get at him. <laughs> oh, to the college football stadiums, man. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you kick this thing off, Stat Guy, man. What's the first stadium on your list? We're only gonna do five a piece. I'll let Stat Guy tell one, and then I'll go one. So, what's your first stadium? Number one on the list has to be Lane Stadium at Beamer Way, Blacksburg, Virginia, for Vitek. You gotta be there for a night game. See him come out with the American flag, blaring Inner Sandman. Um, all the videos on YouTube make it look unreal. I cannot wait to hopefully one day soon just be enamored in that and just be part of that atmosphere. Okay, okay, man. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what. You know how I feel about Lane Stadium. I have not gotten a chance to go. I do want to get to Lane Stadium for a night game because they do say it get wild in Blacksburg, man. I honestly, I don't know if I even care who they playing, man. I just want to go to. A, a game a night game there man it almost made my cut man i'm telling you but you know i had about i think i had about 25 stadiums man and it, you know it was hard to, to to narrow it down but lane stadium just missed the cut coming in at number five for me is the blue field at boise state listen i don't know what it is about the blue field man but when you watch it on tv it looks like it just looked nice to be honest with you. And I hope if I ever get to go that they're wearing the all blue uniforms as well. So, <laughs> with the like all blue uniforms with the either the white helmets or the orange helmets, man. I'm telling you, Boise State, it just looked good when they do it. And you know, Boise State not for nothing, man. They've always been consistently pretty uh competitive in their league. So that's number five for me, man. What's the next one on the list for you? Next one on the me is gonna be um Camp Randall up there in Wisconsinville. Um, whole reason for that, man, jump around at the end of the third quarter, heading into the fourth, they get that place rocking. Um, Wisconsin's normally always competitive, always put a good team out there anyway. So definitely want to get up there to Camp Randall and jump around with some Wisconsin fans. Camp Randall, another one that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that I want to get to as well. It's in my top 25 one of those historic stadiums too you know what i'm saying when you start talk, talking about stadiums you know you you think you don't say you want to go to wisconsin stadium you say you want to go to camp randall and, and if you're a college football fan you should know what you're talking about next number four on my list man uh this stadium here man everybody that i've talked to that's been there say how loud it is it's always in the top 20 actually sometimes most times it's in the top 10 for loudest stadiums even though it's not one of the biggest stadiums, that's Alston Stadium in Oregon. I got to go out there and see the Ducks, man. It just, it looks good. Uh, I usually watch all the track track and field events in the summertime when they because they always do the track and field championship out there, and it just look it look good in the daytime, look good at night. 
And of course, I wanted to see the facilities. I probably won't ever get to do that unless my nephew. Shout out to the number one wide receiver in the class of 2024, MJ Bennett in South Carolina. Uh, he's the number one wide receiver in the state of South Carolina for the class of 2024. But I digress. <laughs> uh, Oregon, man, I don't know. I want to see the uniforms up close and personal. I want to see how loud it actually gets because they say that bowl style stadium, man, it just gets loud, man. You don't want to visit Outson Stadium, that guy? Yeah, no, that's – they actually come in at number three on my list. Um, definitely got to get out west. That – the bowl stadium, it's built to just trap the noise in. It got nowhere to go. Um, I mean, it's – you know, back in the day, I know that they broke some records. Um, I think they've since been broke as for loudest decimal recorded at games. But not only that, but then to go, they have all the different jerseys they've worn in the years displayed all over the place. And just to kind of see – the history we've had since their takeoff in the as a program definitely a spot that I got to get to. Give me some noise. Give me some cool unis. Great Saturday afternoon to me. Hey, sound good. Sound good. Well, coming in number three for me is the Rose Bowl where UCLA plays. You know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, man. I know the dogs played out there in 2017. The tickets were a little too steep for for your boy. So I'm going to have to get to a regular season game out there. I'm not going to be actually be able to go to one of the bowl games out there. But just looking at it on TV, man, it's like just that round. <laughs> when they do the pan in from uh, up top out of the sky, man, it just looks, I don't know, uh, majestic. I, I don't even know what word to say. It just looks good. And I was like, I want to get out to a game out there, plus the history behind it. So any college football fan, I think, would, would enjoy a trip to the Rose Bowl. So picking off number two for me is going to be Kyle Field, Texas A&M out in Aggie land. Got to hear the 12th man. Got to hear the 12th man. Um, Got to hear the Aggie calls. And obviously, I mean, what they're doing with their stadium innovations, man, that thing is just getting bigger and bigger. Um, they trying to trying to be up there with the best of them. And so um, still history with it, too. Um, but definitely one of the loudest places right now in college football. And with Jimbo there, they're going to be good. So you know the product that you're going to go see will be awesome too. But definitely Kyle Field and the 12th man cracks the top five at number two for me. Oh, that money they're paying Jimbo, he better be good, especially with that recruiting class, at least in the next couple of years, this year, next year, and the year after all those uh, five-star, breaking the record for a number of five-star defensive linemen in one recruiting class. But, yeah, man, they're the fourth biggest stadium in college football so uh it should be loud and plus you know listen when i do get to go to texas a&m i want to go early enough to go on a friday so i i don't even want to participate i just want to see the yell practice man like the fact that their student section and 12 man just take take it serious enough to have practice the night before the game that that's what you call dedication there and i'm down with that they did not make my top five but they are in my top 25. the next game on the list for me number two it's Penn State. Happy Valley, baby. I got to get in there for a whiteout game, man. When you're watching it on TV, everybody, it seems like even the visitors wearing white. Uh, it's just crazy. It's a crazy atmosphere. Uh, it's one of the histo most historic, you know, um, uh, stadiums in college football. It's also in top five in uh, uh, attendance. And it's just like getting to getting to penn state to see those uh classic you know blue and uh, navy blue if that's what they call it navy blue and white uniforms is just is like like i say it's death it's it's one of those things that'll be like uh, awesome to see and so number one coming in on my list got to go to the place with 279 consecutive sellouts you want to talk history got to make my way up to notre dame and visit probably one to me, I mean, that's that's like the Mecca. I know you've had okay. a chance to be there. You got to cross it off before me. Super jealous. But for me, I got to go to the Mecca. Got to go check out Notre Dame, walk around the concrete, and just enjoy the atmosphere that is that place. So that's definitely number one in my books. Yeah, it would have made it would have made top five for me too if I hadn't already gone. Did get a chance to go there in 2014 to see Louisville play at Notre Dame, courtesy of my other nephew who played for Louisville, Zach Cannon. Shout out! So um, I actually got to go too before they put the um, 
the the uh when it was they so now they have um TVs at the concession stand. So mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't get to see the TVs at the concession stand. They just recently did that. So you know, and then also I think they just redid um either redid the I can't remember if they had a small jumbotron or redid it. I just know that we was able to visibly see touchdown Jesus. I think you still can, but it's just not the same. Listen, man, when we got to that stadium, first I said we walked into the stadium. I said, why does the field look so pretty? <laughs> I was like, it almost looked unreal. So uh, with the stripes in the end zone, like, you know, just that old school feel, I feel you on another Notre Dame, man. Hopefully you'll get to go. Maybe we'll take a trip up there. But, uh, yeah, I've gotten to cross that out. Number one on my list because, like I said, I've already been to Notre Dame is the big house the biggest stadium in college football michigan the school with the most wins all time in college football i want to go see the wolverines run out there on that field i want to hear how loud the biggest college football stadium actually gets you know what i'm saying i i mean to be honest because <laughs> because it's michigan and uh i don't know i don't even know if i care what game it is um at this point uh, and there is a game involving Michigan, of course, that uh, is in my bucket list, but uh, I don't care where that's played at as long as I get to go to it. But um, I, don't, I don't know if I even care if they play in like a directional school, to be honest with you. I just want to go to Michigan. And... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, they could be playing Central Michigan for all I can. It's probably a cheaper ticket anyway, so I can cross it off of my list. So I can't believe you didn't have a big house in your top five, Jeff. What's going on with you, man? Hey man, who who are you? <laughs> Listen, man, I ain't. I can only. I can handle. I can only handle so much up in um, Big Ten country. Baby steps, man. Baby steps. <laughs> you chose Camp Randall over the Big House. What's wrong with you? You a hater? You just don't like Michigan because of South Carolina, Michigan's history. That's all that is. We be all right. Now I'm <laughs> hope, hoping that hoping I'm just cross that one off my list soon and don't even have to worry about it no more. Bam, done deal. Well, there you have it, folks. Our bucket list college football stadium. Get in the comments. Let us know where you've been and or where you want to go. I mean, uh, like I say, you know, I mentioned I've been to Notre Dame. I've been to a lot of stadiums. Of course, I'm a Georgia alum, so I've been to a lot of lot more SEC stadiums than I've been to um, other stadiums. But uh, I've been to a good fair amount of stadiums, man. So, uh, but I want to keep crossing my list out. I think out of my top twenty five, I've been to like twelve of them. So. I want to cross those out and then keep on going. So just let us know in the comments what what stadiums you like. It don't even have to be, uh, you know, one of the stadiums that we name. Uh, let us know it, <laughs> let's say if Central Michigan is where you was on your bucket list, and that's your bucket list, and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So your boy, the stat guy, I'm Coach I. We got it jumping like it's that valley yeah. i call yeah. my dogs out the pound let's go eat turn on the fan at it yeah. let's have a debate yeah. who really hold down the southeast from state to state what team hungry gonna eat everything up off they plate